Hey there, I'm Kieran Galaxia, and welcome to The Gamer. Let's get this out of the way. Far Cry 6 is gorgeous, but Yara can be a daunting experience. There's dense cities, gorgeous jungles, and fascists. Fascists everywhere. The game does a good job of preparing you for the task of liberation, but there's some things five we can think of for this video specifically, if the title is any indication, that are worth learning before you jump into the shoes of Danny Rojas. So let's get started, shall we? So let's start with some internal observations. Whenever we play Far Cry, there are two wolves in us. One of them is a sneaky ninja, skulking in the shadows with a silenced rifle and a machete. The other, big guns, big bang, big fun. These are both valid, but we tend to pick one over the other. Our advice? Embrace both of them. Stealth is pretty simple in Far Cry 6, and while in certain situations you can gain more resources, it can be a chore, and sometimes, you know, you just want to let your hair down and go wild. So experiment with your guns, blast out your Supremos, and if you die, then, well, you die but there's not much of a consequence with that. Experiment, use different weapons, sneak if you want, but don't be afraid to go loud. Now, I get it, workbenches, crafting, but in Far Cry 6, it actually amounts to quite a lot. You can use workbenches to mod your weapons and your supremos. You've got different ammo types that affect different types of enemy, and all your usual scopes, silences, gadgets, all very important things for a gorilla to have during a revolution. The beginning of the game will really hammer this home and get you started on the workbench path, and it's important to keep that in mind with each new weapon and suprema you get. You'll be hitting bases and finding resources throughout the game anyway, so you might as well be spending these resources at workbenches to improve your equipment. You can end up with guns that handle better, take out armor and vehicles quickly, as well as gadgets that fit your specific playstyle better than maybe a simple Molotov would. So, Yara's gorgeous, right? Considering you can now just holster your weapons and walk around incognito, you might be tempted just to hoof it everywhere. Now we do recommend actually traveling to places, as while fast travel is convenient, you might miss out on loot. But also sometimes, you gotta give your feet a break. Luckily, transportation in Far Cry 6 is super easy to get your hands on. You can summon a ride of choice, which you can also mod at workbenches with paint, bodywork, and weapons, just saying, at the press of a button. Outside of that, whenever you enter a vehicle or hop on a horse, the game will remind you to find a pickup point, which will let you store your vehicle, be it biological and four-legged, or mechanical for unlimited use. A quick one here, because, well, it shouldn't take much to convince you, but Amigos, you gotta love them, or at least Ubisoft's marketing team hope you do. There's a wonderful little sausage dog pal, or there's a gator in a little jacket. Amigos are great, and not only that, they have a huge impact on the way you play. They might rip enemies apart, or distract them enough for you to take fascists down of your own accord. I mean, sure, you could stick to the shadows and stick machetes in people's necks, and that's valid. But you could also sick a gator on someone, and then there'll be no neck. And chaos, sure, but chaos is pretty fun. So yeah, your amigos. Give them a shot every once in a while. Lastly, let's talk about hubs. You won't unlock your first major hub until you've done the tutorial island, and you've done one of the first major missions on the Yaren mainland. You'll know you're in a major hub when the camera is mainly in third person. You'll want to explore these, as there's fun side missions, facilities you can build that'll give you buffs, and hub-specific activities. They'll change up as you play through the campaign, but they're worth investing time and resources into, as it will only add to your experience. So hey, those are some of our tips for if you're just starting out in Far Cry 6. Keep these in mind and you'll become a machine that kills fascists in no time. For more guides and features, check out thegamer.com. And hey, we'll see you next time.